tend to work together. We have three steps. Our first step is totaling and improving our sales journal. Those transactions of classic appliances for the month of September of the current year have been journalized in the sales journal. We need to calculate and record the col column totals for the sales journal. So first thing that we're going to do is we are going to total our sales journal. So we would single line rule. We're going to put in our date. So we're going to do the end of the month. So September has 30 days. We're going to say September 30th, label it as totals. And now we need to total up our columns. So get out your calculators. Oops, sorry. Um, for my first one, my accounts receivable debit, I get $6,938.60. Next, I'm going to add up my sales credit column. That one I get $6,689. And I need to add up my sales tax payable credit column. get 249.60. Now before we would double line rule, we should double check to make sure that our debits equal credits and they have given us an area to prove down here. So um, my accounts receivable debit is 6,938.60. Um, sales credit is 6,689. Sales tax payable is 249.60. I would add up my debits and credits then. So here I just have $6,938.60. And then here I'm going to add those two numbers together. And I do get $6,938.60. So those equal. And then I would double line rule if I was doing paper pencil. Grade step one. Next step. Step two is posting to accounts receivable ledger. We need to post the transaction from the sales journal to the accounts receivable ledger. So we're going to start up here um, on line one and we're posting to our customer accounts. So I'm going to post first to Lenny Stanford. The date is the second. Post reference, remember I'm going to use S for sales journal. And I'm on page nine, so S9. I'm going to look, remember here I can look, it says that I'm debiting that column, and then this is the amount that I'm debiting for. My customer goes with my accounts receivable debit. Okay, so I'm debiting that account for $1,696. I then need to find my new balance. I have a debit and a debit, so I'm gonna add. My new balance then should be $3,885.36. And account number 110 goes back up. Next, I'm going to be posting to Washington City Schools. The date is the 6th. Sales journal, so S, page 9, so S9. Again, I'm going to debit that account, $680. I'm going to find my new balance. So a debit and a debit means I'm going to be adding. My new balance then is $2,189.45. And account number 130 goes back to the journal. Next, I'm posting to Venice Cafe. The date is the 7th. S9 is my post reference. I'm debiting that account for $2,713.60. I have a debit and a debit, so I'm going to add. My new balance is $3,103.94. Account number 120, back to the journal. And last one, I'm posting to Washington City Schools. The date is the 15th, S9 and a debit of $1,849. A debit and a debit, I will add. 
my new balance is $4,038.45. Account number 130 goes back to my journal. Now that I see my post reference column is filled in, that tells me that I'm done posting individually, so I can grade step two. Step three, I'm going to be posting to my general ledger. So here's where I'm posting my special amount column totals. So I'm gonna start first with my accounts receivable. The date is the 30th. I'm still on S9, sales journal page nine. I'm gonna look up here at my label. I have a debit, so I'm debiting that account for the total $6,938.60. I have a debit and a debit, so I'm going to add. My new balance is 11,027.75. Account number 1130 is going to go underneath that total showing I have posted it. Next total is my sales. Date is the 30th. Sales 9. This time I'm going to credit that account. So I'm crediting for $6,689. I have a credit and a credit, so I will add. My new balance is $191,885.31. Account number 4110 goes underneath that total. Last total that I will post is my sales tax payable. Date is the 30th, sales journal page 9. And here I'm going to credit. So I'm crediting that account for $249.60. A credit and a credit tells me I'm going to add. And my new balance is a credit of $2,733.78. Account number 2120 goes underneath the total. So now I see my post-reference column is filled in, and I have numbers underneath my totals. That tells me I'm done posting, so I can grade my final step. Save and continue. You are now done with the 10 2 work together. You can go on to the 10 2 on your own and then the 10 3 lecture.